Yes, it's Monday, March 14th. And we've done all those crazy things like turning the plant back and all of that kind of stuff. And yes, it's Monday. <laughs> you know, it doesn't hit you the first day. It's kind of that second day when you feel that jet lag stuff. So make sure you get that first cup of coffee. And I um, personally am having that uh, second piece of birthday cake. As um, you know, I talked about this on Newswatch. And um, just a tremendous outpouring of people that uh, wished me a happy birthday. And I always, my family, I always uh, agitated them saying, I was celebrating for a whole week. Well, uh, this year, I think I did. Uh, currently in Newcastle, 50 degrees. Now, it, it wasn't raining when I came in, but uh, the possibility of light showers continues through the morning as we're on our way to a 61-degree day with that possibility of rain. We'll give you more when we get to Crane Room. 45 weather. There's more than meets the eye. You gotta give them a new castle a try. The right small town for living. Look around. Today's programming was provided through funding from DiCaprio Cleaners. DiCaprio Cleaners in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Let's um, take a look at some of the things uh, that are on Facebook. For those, uh, we told you about uh, Albert Gettings and um, that benefit. Uh, Dave sent in today would have been my son's 38th birthday. It's been over 10 years since he sacrificed his life for freedom in Iraq. We will continue to keep his memory and spirit alive. You know, um, just a just a note from uh, the Gettings family, and our hearts always are with them. Hello to my good friend David, Reverend David Young Sr. Uh, and his family yeah, as he uh, has a family photo up there. And here is a, here's a great thought. I wonder how many people would say hello I wonder if I said hello, how many people would say it back? Give it a try. You know, it really works. And that's one of the things we talk about here on NCTV 45 all the time, about uh, getting to the point where you're a little neighborly. You let people know what's going on. And uh, that's something that... Uh, makes it a better community. Funding for this program provided by Washington Center Physical Therapy, Norm A. Gabriel, MSPT, ATC owner. Today's programming furnished by a grant from Chalala and Carney Florist on Mill Street in Newcastle. One of the things to remember, March 18th, 5 to 9 p.m., and March 19th, 10 to 4, Prom Dreams and Feed My Sheep present free prom dress giveaway. Hundreds uh, to choose from. Uh, again, that's March 18th and March 19th, 5 to 9 and 10 to 4, respectively. 
doors, door prizes, Chinese auction, uh, 504 East Long Avenue. So uh, if you got somebody going to the prom, that might be a thing you want to check and uh, take a look at. Could save you a ton of money. Those, <laughs> those prom dresses are a little expensive. And um, as we continue to stroll through these top stories, uh, this morning, pay particular attention as uh, we go through this uh, to our sponsors. They're great people. Uh, this week, we have a great deal of programming for you and uh, we did a test. Now, don't get your shorts all in an uproar. Uh, the test we did was on the baseball game, and I already know about the fence, okay? So uh, with the way the press boxes are situated, especially one in the Shannick, we're not going to be able to um, shoot from there. But uh, I will be checking uh, as we go to these different venues. Today's programming provided by Geno's Grocery Deli Lottery. Convenient and on your way. Geno's in Mahoningtown. A special thanks to Paul D. Weller Hardware in Mahoningtown for providing funding for this program. I have to look at this. Um, here's a person commenting uh, that they live in Newcastle. They've moved back. And uh, they're talking about Isley's and some of the things on North Hill. The candy store, Georgia's. You know, a lot of these people have great fun memories of downtown, um, and it's tremendous. Now, uh, let's take a brief break, uh, get a word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, and uh, as I'm looking at Theology on Tap, they're talking about Easter Fest, and that's Sunday, March 19th, from 10 to 2, at the Parish Center, right down the street here at Mary Mother of Hope. If you've never been to the Easter Fest, wow, you're missing a lot. A lot of people uh, just go, and, and there's marvelous crafts and food to mo look at. Now, um, this Friday again, St. Vincent de Paul has its fish fry from 11 to 6. Baked goods, uh, just fish, shrimp basket, kids' meals, Waffle fries, macaroni and cheese, cabbage and noodles, green beans, coleslaw, drinks, uh, you know, 724-652-5829, extension 6, or extension 8. That's St. Vincent de Paul, and, you know, I have to tell you, don't forget about St. James the Apostle. They also have uh, that fish fry if you're out that way. Take a look. It's a fantastic thing. Now, scrolling through here, uh, I want to make sure that I get all the updates from everybody sent in before I go to the mailbag. And uh, we'll be right back. This program furnished by a grant from Keystone Specialty, 
Newcastle's Party Store on Mill Street in Newcastle. Welcome back. And uh, we start at the top of the hour. It's 15 minutes after the hour. For those of you watching on a different type of time schedule, and uh, so we'll just give the after the hour time. Uh, as, a, as a note, um, congratulations to the Canes on a fine season. You know, when you look at the, the total package over the past years, schedule's pretty strong, and when you only have three losses inside of one year, and it took to the end of the year for anybody to figure it out, that's a, that's a tremendous, tremendous accomplishment. So um, hats off to the Newcastle Red Hurricanes as they concluded their playoff run. Now, um, going a, a little step further, uh, as I was saying, we did uh, air the baseball game, and uh, it was it was it was a great success. Uh, okay, however, uh, a lot of the venues weren't really set up for anything more than baseball and that's uh, not anything bad it's just how it is that being said you know we're going to work with it I think uh, with a number of requests a lot of people will absolutely love being able to see high school baseball right in their living room this program furnished by a grant from Ferone Brothers. Two locations, Newcastle on Mill Street and Wilmington Road in Newcastle. Now it's time to go through and, and I, I am overwhelmed um, as We've gotten a steady stream of people that uh, really like NCTV 45. And uh, thank you for that. And as I go through the mailbag, <coughs> let me say one thing. You know, we are a community station, and everybody knows about Newcastle and let me uh, just get this one person that and then I'll tell you what I'm doing I formed this station for uh reasons to help the community and uh, in order to do that successfully you you have to be able to um, generate a little advertising dollar I go above and beyond to help everybody that I can and there are people that go above and beyond to help me. If you're a small business, please don't try and take advantage of people with free advertising or uh, try and do that type of thing. Uh, you know, in recent days, I've had some people try and send me some inappropriate material. Uh, that's just not how it's going to go down. And I'm up to 
the scam. So uh, make sure that you stay away from that uh, as we continue through. Now, programming provided through funding from Daimyo and Olson Law Group with offices in Elwood City and in Newcastle in the Washington Center. Daimyo and Olson Law Group. Hats off to uh, Connie Britland, who has joined the NCTV45 family. Uh, I totally appreciate it. Melissa Jones, uh, just writing in from Lawrence County Hockey, which they have that night at the races coming up. Uh, also, thanks to the, the folks that uh, continue with the the, the great wishes. Uh, I just uh, absolutely love it. Um, here is uh, I Anthony D. Thomas, and it has Nishanik showcase Newcastle Grade A for uh, teammates. They're they're probably talking about the fact that. Shannon and Newcastle played um, in baseball. Sometimes, though, when uh, the folks write these notes, you have to be a little complete in what you're saying because uh, there's no way for me to be able to... Um, let you know what's going on. Now, Butch's Garage was a former sponsor, uh, so uh, I guess they're back in business as uh, time continues. Now, let's take a break, hear from our sponsors. We'll be right back. Welcome back, and um, as we get back, we're going through the mailbag, and um, I'd like to thank Brittany Chez for joining the NCTV45 family. A shout-out to my good friend Jan Budai, who I saw last night as I was eating at Pegley's Pasta and More, and uh, I, I promised him that we'd get a wider variety of... Uh, folks on uh, especially with the baseball so uh, I'll try and pick up some games uh, with Shenango also uh, we talked about Nishanik and um, Newcastle of course now continuing on through the mailbag and this is this is uh, really how full the mailbag is every day. Uh, it's uh, I decided to be able to thank these people as I went through it because and thanks Rhonda Hannon for the kind words because it just got so nuts okay trying to uh get through everything <coughs> that um excuse me that i had in this mailbag uh, just phenomenal so uh i thank you for all your warm support of nctv 45 Now, uh, continuing down, and we're going to get to uh, Crane Room 45 weather. In a second, I just want to check out something came in from 
Newcastle Wrestling Club. Julian won second place 27th, in the 27th annual Boardman Weekend of Wrestling. Keep working hard. Congratulations, Julian, on that great win. And uh, Floyd Jackson. Uh, awesome class for the Victory Kids and students. I, I guess that's a Victory Christian. And uh, they were down here and did thought for the day. So um, isn't that great? As uh, we continue through, and uh, if you get a chance, check out the why. Uh, you know, I know I say that quite a bit, and uh, YMCA has so many positive things going on. And for those kids who would like to babysit, guess what? This class that they're going to have is actually excellent for everybody because it allows you to pick up CPR and first aid, something that a lot of people don't know or maybe need refreshed at. So uh, for those boys and girls, 13 to 18, good idea. Amari uh, Stadamir, longtime viewer, love the station, gives you a birthday, like to give me a birthday shout to my cousin Vinny. Delineo, he is a new viewer. His birthday is March 14th. Thanks and keep watching. Well, Amari, yes, I will do that. Vinny, on the morning show, I want to make sure that you get, yeah, that second cup of coffee because we're in the middle of the show and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world and a great birthday. Get that second piece of birthday cake. And let me give him a shout. And I'll put what's on the morning show. And we'll send that out. And by all means, if um, you have somebody you want to give a birthday wish out to, do that. Curtis Alley. Thanks for watching. As he sent me a direct message, I have to find out. The people from Pittsburgh that love this station, are it's amazing. Because uh, I'm, I'm getting things from the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership, Pop City Pittsburgh, uh, just to name a few. I love Pittsburgh. Uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate all of the great uh, words and uh, this in uh, from everybody I guess there's some highlights that they'd like me to put on college the women's day conference great day at Westminster says Teresa Shea and uh, we've got pictures that she sent in. We appreciate that, Teresa. And uh, Bill's Bake Shop has that Easter delicacies that we've come to like in Newcastle, Easter bread, rice pie, and a whole lot more. So make sure that you get down to Bill's Bake Shop for those Easter goodies. Guess what I got down there? For my birthday cake. It was tremendous. And yes, in keeping with my celebration for a whole week, I got a cake for St. Patrick's Day. Just wanted you to know. I mean, I, I continue to do what I say I'm going to do, and I did it. So uh, make sure you get to Bill's Bake Shop. Now let's take a break. We'll come back and look at the Cedar Sports Corner. Special thanks to Butts 
flowers, gifts, and more in downtown Newcastle for their support and funding of this program. Butts Flowers, downtown Newcastle. Welcome back, and the Cedar Sports Corner. Well, okay, let's get to men's basketball. St. Joe's ended up winning the A-10 by topping Virginia Commonwealth. Kentucky took out Texas A&M, and uh, it was Michigan State over Purdue and Connecticut over Memphis. Now, we'll talk about the brackets as it, it goes on, but I'm not going to dwell on that um, because I know you're getting that stuff elsewhere. Let's go to hockey. Hold on to your petticoat. Yes. It was the Pittsburgh Penguins beating the New York Rangers 5-3. Wow. Can you even believe it? The Tampa Bay Lightning beat those dreadfully terrible, frightful Columbus Blue Jackets. And Toronto edged out Detroit 1-0. Over in the NBA, it was Cleveland over the L.A. Clippers, 114-90. The Hawks beat the Indiana Pacers, and Utah took care of Sacramento. It was Milwaukee over Brooklyn, and the New York Knicks beating the Los Angeles Lakers. So, um, you know, March Madness will be in full swing. Expect on Thursday to have all those Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, sometime in there. All the games should start. They'll have, not, they'll have brackets in the day, brackets in the night. You'll see basketball for another week, week, two weeks, just about on everything that you look at. Now, that was the Cedar Sports Corner. We're going to take a quick time out. And when we come back, a whole bunch more. Today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Bake Shop, where smiles are everywhere. Welcome back, and uh, this is our shot at taking those, look at those people who are up around and watching us on so many venues right now. And because uh, we have early morning Facebook people that get up. Uh, we have people that watch us on Twitter. Uh, they, you know, Google Plus. That share as we share with them. And then what we do is later on we come back and give an edited version that include those commercials. And please take care of our sponsors. Let's talk about Crane Room 45 weather as I lose my voice a little bit. Yeah, 50 light rain in Newcastle. Now, what's your Monday look like? Ah, high 61, that's the good news. Chance of precipitation, 30%. And it sounds like we're kind of going to get rain. Monday night, low around 46. Chance of rain, 80%. So as the day goes on, the chance of rain increases. Showers and possible thunderstorms. Be aware of it. It's going to be a, a little wet tonight. Now, Tuesday, 
There's a chance of showers, mainly before 9, mostly cloudy, with a high of 63. Light and variable winds, the chance of rain on Tuesday is 30%. And Tuesday night, showers, 30% chance of that stuff, mostly cloudy, low around 48. Now, uh, for J&J, who uh, are watching... Uh, hats off to them. Uh, what's your Wednesday look like, guys? Well, the showers will start off before 10 a.m., and then the skies will turn sunny with a high of 62. So I told you, we got to make it to the middle of the week before we actually things clear out. Chance of rain before 10 is 40%, and then it continues to decrease Till we get to Wednesday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 40. Thursday, chance of showers after 8 a.m., mostly cloudy, 55. And the chance of rain is going to be 30% on Thursday and Friday. Thursday night, mostly cloudy, a low of 35. Friday, partly sunny, 48. Friday night, partly cloudy, a low around 30. And as you get to the weekend, and Palm Sunday is next weekend, chance of showers, partly sunny, a high of 49. The chance of precipitation, 30%. Saturday night, chance of rain goes up to 40%, mostly cloudy and 34. And Palm Sunday, 50% chance of rain and snow with a high of 47. So I don't think you're going to get the snow you're just going to get rained on. Now, that was Crane Room 45 weather. And when we come back, we'll start to uh, wrap this up. Today's program was furnished by a grant from the Beanery Depot in Delhi, featuring coffee, made to order subs, and snacks. The Beanery Depot in Delhi, in Mahoningtown. Well, welcome back, and always good having you around. I'd like to thank everybody that uh, tunes in, sends in donations does all the little things on the side to keep NCTV 45 alive and well right here in Newcastle. Uh, we've uh, experienced great growth and it was very evident from those Facebook uh, postings that continue uh, just how much everything's appreciated here and I thank you from the bottom of my heart so make sure that you get up get going because it's Monday morning it's the 14th the clocks are one hour ahead and you got to get to work have that second cup of coffee and have a great day in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody. See you again tomorrow. Thanks to Arlington Market, 726 Arlington Avenue, Newcastle, PA. Groceries, lunch meat, fresh cut meats, produce. It's Arlington Market who provided funding for this program. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station.